Alright. And um down, 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 up, 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 up. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Domless Ignis, and today for Bad Game Friday. I'm playing another bad PlayStation 2 game that I've been meaning to play. I planned on playing for a long time. Oh god, it's a bit loud. It's gonna go it's gonna echo into the microphone. Falling stars. Now, the only other person who I've ever seen actually look at this game, well, the only person I know who's actually looked at this game as well, was I think Vinny from Vine Source. Um, but I've actually had this game for well since I was younger, actually, which is depressing to think about. Um, but anyway, yep, you know, we're gonna look at Falling Stars. There's no save data. You don't say. Okay, it's loading up. Come on. Here we go. Let's start up the game. I'm gonna go with easy because I want to because the battle. I want to get the battles over as quickly as I can. You'll see the battles eventually, but they're boring as fuck. Anyway. Oh, I can't hear anything at all. You summoned me, wise one? Young spirits. We must discuss a matter of grave importance. The time has come for you to be entrusted with a mission. A mission? I sense a dark power awakening in the world of Dazzleon. Something deeply disturbing is going on. What is it? The delicate balance between good and evil is threatened. I need you to investigate this world and discover the source of the dark power. All by myself? Yes. You will continue to Dazzleon alone. I cannot come with you. Why not, you fat f you yinkly fuck? Um, as the guardian of the spiritual realm, I must remain here. You will replace the soul of a young girl. The people of Dazzleon will recognize you as Luna. After your mission, her soul will return to her own body. I understand. Report back to me with your findings. Also, this music, just listen to it, it loops very quickly. Yep, okay, anyway. Go forth, young spirit. There is no time to spare. Here we are. Again, the emulator is actually making things look slightly nicer than it usually does. Uh, yep, that still works. <laughs> oh, oh, that's e that makes it even better. Ah, uh, I remember discovering this when I just like, hold on. Yes. Yes. Fucking hell. Oh, sorry. It gets better when I, it, okay, give me a second. I don't know if this will still work. Oh, it still works! Yes! Okay, let's... Mmm. Yeah, you see... You see the great outdoors out there? Oh, it looks so nice and blurry, but... Well, I'm willing to forgive the blurry part, because it's PlayStation 2, but... Ah. Uh. <laughs> anyway. I will say one thing that the PlayStation 2 emulator has been able to do, and that's, I can actually tell, you know, I can actually see her pupils now, you know, I can tell her pupils and her eye colour apart now. Because on a normal PlayStation 2, it just looks like one massive pupil, and it was terrifying. The pupils are still far, far too big, but it's an improvement. Anyway, let's get moving. I'm wasting, I'm wasting time. Sell items you don't need for extra moons. 
Uh, I did actually try beating this on the PlayStation 2, but my but it actually just got so boring, and I couldn't think. Yeah, you know, it was. I was at a point where I didn't know what I was actually meant to do, and it was so boring that I just gave up. Because again, this game, this game's like I won't. I won't like this game is far looks fun. That must be my uncle, Matt. I hope that explosion didn't hurt him. I better go check to see if he's okay. As I was saying, you know, the game doesn't look horrible. It's all like for a budget game, I'm fine with that. Also, the lion statues actually move. I want to see them move again. Um, but the thing is, is that... There we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, you know, it's all well and good. It's just... It gets so mind-numbingly boring after a while. Anyway. Which was the running button again? There we go. Run. Hey, Matt. Oh, my God. I, d I don't want to make the Shrek joke because Vinny already made that. I actually need to watch him play that. You know, the whole footage of him playing that, because I only know that he made like a Shrek joke and thought Luna was terrifying. I think he called him Shrek. I don't care, anyway. Oh yeah, Matt's basically spending a lot of time in this abandoned mine because he's... and he's basically become evil. Perfectly healthy! You're green! I don't care if you're crazy and evil, surely even you know should know that you shouldn't be green. Sure, I can do that. Oh, I just remembered a perfect... <laughs> a perfect oversight in this game. Okay, I'll get, I'll get this 5 energy potion thing done first, but... Oh, it's such a brilliant oversight. I... okay. No, no, I'll, I'll get to it soon enough. God, oh my goodness, I can't wait to, to show you. It's a small thing, like, it's not going to rock you up, but it's so... It should have been noticed by the game developers. It was when they were making this, but it wasn't. Then again, they didn't even notice the whole thing with the camera. So... Yeah, there was obviously a number of things that they didn't really pay that much attention to. Also, I have noticed that a lot of these images, a lot of these things have been, are 2D sprites. But they look nice enough, so I'm fine with that. I can't tell, is that a, that's a, that, that is a 3D model. I wasn't sure. Because it kind of all meshes into one. Anyway, for me. Everything looks the same, I mean. I do like that, the flowers kind of close when you go near them and there's a giant bee. Okay, this is meant to be like, this is trying to be like a parad, you know, kind of like a nature paradise. But there are giant bees, so this is hell to me. I don't care if we die of starvation, if, if they all die, I'm gonna have to get a flamethrower. I'm kidding. Anyway. I can't, I just realised I can, I have no idea how long I've been playing this. I'm guessing like five minutes. Hi Luna, what's news? Oh, the usual. My boat business is going well. There's plenty of time for relaxing under the sun. Artis, are you sure you aren't just being lazy? You know, despite the fact that it's apparently this soul, this thing, you know, that's taking over the body, this person, this, this spirit seems to know all about Luna's life. Hmm. I will say, Artis who genuinely looks like a woman with her, with his 3D model. Even though that even though the art makes points out that you know makes it look that he's obviously like a man. It's a little weird. Anyway, so then what means you here? You're a good trader, aren't you? I always try to get a bug. Basically, we we gotta we got now that we've gone to Artis to try and get five energy potions, we actually need to now go to Bobo. And you know get a boat from him for cheap. And Bobo was like, six. <laughs> I 
Oh my goodness. Look at him, he's tiny. Hi there, Luna. How's your kitten? He's always up to mischief. Sometimes I have no idea what she wants. I just want to take good care of Princess, but she keeps running off. I'm just going to make sure that I don't drop my keyboard when I do this. You really love your kitten, don't you? Yeah, she's just so cute. Arthur said that you could sell a new boat to him. I'm sorry, but I don't have any boats for sale. Although, I could order one for you. It won't be very cheap, unfortunately. How much? 12,000 moons. What? That's ridiculous. I don't see how it costs more than 5,000 moons to order one. I keep... I can't... I, I keep thinking of it. Like, ever since... I... I'm bargaining for stuff. I don't understand why... Taxes. Perfect. Okay, let's just keep going. 9,000 moons. 8,000 moons. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Alright, 7,000 moons. Hooray! I just want to say, the way that she, the way that she looks, she looks literally like a wee like a like a like a cheap action figure. I don't know. It's like it looks. She looks like something I'd expect to find, for like two pounds or something. Maybe that's being unfair, but still. So we told the artist the price of the new boat, and he says, "Now we got to tell Bobo." He's gonna save up. You ordered the boat in that short space of time. It's being how's it being said to you this quickly? Blimey. <laughs> Bobo acts like a fifty year old man. Like a fifty year old really you know, 50 year old business, I don't know, rather than a 6 year old kid who's trying to take care of his kid. I, I half expect Bobo to talk about his stocks plummeting. 10 energy potions. Thank you, Quest. Okay, I'm gonna say something personally. Whenever anybody adds, like, dots at the end, like, more than one dot, it always sounds like really disinterested or depressed. So whenever I see that, it's always like, quest completed. <sighs> Ooh, ladybird, step on it, step on it, step on it. Oh my god, does it actually have collision? It looks, I can't tell. Anyway, let's keep going. There's a snail, a giant snail. I think it doesn't take too long for this for me to actually show you more of the game. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Except Luna is going to walk slowly while I wait for her energy bar to go back up so I can run again. Here I come. Almost there. Hold on, Matt. There we are. Oh, good. You brought the potions. Thanks. These will be very helpful. You're welcome. Now that you're here, I have another problem. One of my pets ran away. I guess I wasn't careful enough. Do you have any idea where it could be? He ran towards the park. Could you see, ask the people there? Maybe someone saw him. Sure. Excellent. He's very important to me. What does he look like? Well, he's blue in colour. Blue? How unusual. He's a very rare pet. One of a kind. Okay. So I... I okay. I don't want to get... I'm, I've got to wait till I can show you the oversight. It, I don't know, like, it's not as, I don't think it's as big a deal as being able to clip the camera through the door and see into the infinite abyss, but still, it's pretty dumb when you see it, and yeah, that, that, that energy bar is high enough. Oh 
Blimey, it takes so long to recharge and it qu goes away so quickly. I actually legitimately want to know, why did they put an energy bar for running? What, what does, what does it add? What does it actually add? That, you know, you, you could have taken it away and let me run around, it'd been so much more fun. Maybe not so much more, but you get the point. Bobo, have you seen a blue pet recently? I'm looking for Matt's lost pet. Oh no. I mean, yes, I saw it. I'm just a bit distracted right now. What's the matter? My kid is on top of the tower. She won't come down. I'm sure there's some way to get her down. Well, ah, uh, here we go. We gotta build a tower of pillows. There's also, I should also point out, there is another little mini game where you can get on a boat and collect flowers with artists. But I'm not doing that. Because it is actually the most mind-numbingly painful thing ever, and I'm pretty sure that's just optional. Sorry. Alright, let's skip that, because I already know how to do this. So we just gotta stack up pillows on the stack up pillows on trains van to save the kitten on the trains van anyway i get typos but this is a game so you know you probably should be a bit more careful about that anyway so slowly raise the arm No, 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 no! Okay, she raises her arms so fucking slowly. Like I, it's from a lot of trial and error, but I know how, that I have to uh, raise her arm pretty much instantly. Up oh, and here comes the second part of the challenge. Oh no! It seems that it seems that automatic sensor rotator has broken. Perfect English. Now it has to be rotated manually. I don't know, that, that manually seems to be mis- I think it might be misspelled? Isn't it like two L's? I could be wrong about that one. But I think it's meant to be two L's, but I, it doesn't matter. I hope you will manage to rotate properly and the train will not get damaged. The train doesn't actually get damaged, I could do this as long as I want. Well, until the timer's out. See how slowly her fucking arm raises! Jesus Christ. I just want to hear him, his happiness again. I, I get the other one, it's no 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 And the other one's like... Oh, here we go. Trains... This... The train's battery is failing, not trains... Bad fuck! Give me a second, you fuck. Ah, uh, well, I broke the train, now I gotta do this. Because, of course I do. There's so much time as well, like, I... I could do this forever. I, you know, I could take forever and I'm pretty sure I'd still be able to... I'm pretty sure I'd still be able to... Perfect. Alright, and... Drop! Perfect. Raise your hand. Du, 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 du. And drop. Drop. Hey, we did it. And now it's all working perfectly again. And the cats. The cats! No, okay, I was gonna... S I, that's nitpicking, actually, if I, if I ever got that. But the cat was hovering for, like, a split second before he actually grabbed the cat. That's... I feel like it's a little bit nitpicky, though. Then again, I'm a very nitpicky person, so... Alright, so now it's time to collect the blue pet. Or oh, we're more likely going to find out shocking things. <gasps> well, 
when the loading time eventually- Gary! Jesus Christ, that took forever. Thanks so much for your help. I'm glad I could get help get your kitten back. So what about Master Blue Pet? Did you see it? Yes, he's in my castle. Great! That's gonna be very happy. I'm sorry, but I can't give the pet to Matt. But why? It is his pet after all. Bobo, is there something I should know? Luna, your Uncle Matt. Imagine if... Imagine if Luna had a really deep voice. He was performing horrible experiments on his pets. I saw him catch a cute animal and turn it into a monster. No way. He is a very kind man. He would never do anything like that. I know it's hard to believe, but it's the truth. You're wrong. I refuse to believe that he is a bad person. That's why I can't give you the pet. I'll ask Matt about the experiments. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Oh, that deep voice sometimes gets my eyes watering for some reason. Anyway, let's run! I can't remember which way I'm supposed to go. Let's just go this way. Anyway, let's go run to Matt. I'm not sure whether to put... There's a game I'm not sure whether I should put on Bad Game Friday or not. That's like PlayStation 2 Port of Song Unleashed. Because I remember... I don't think I ever hated it, but it's definitely not aged very well. Hmm. I'll have to play it again. I'm li... But I remember last time I tried playing it, a lot of my nostalgia got murdered. Because it just didn't play as well as I remembered it. Oh, hold on a second. I'm just wandering around here for a bit. Hold on. I can see the graphics flickering over there. Is she even moving? Perfect. <laughs> Alright. Oh! I, oh god, I, I should never have to... Oh my god, I didn't know she had a talking animation. Bobo told me you're doing experiments on pets. Horrible experiments. That's weird, because she doesn't have an inside of her ma in her mouth, it looks weird. She really does look dead when she's talking. Look at her unblinking eyes. Oh, that's horrifying. I didn't know that. I see. Is this true? I have a clear goal, and I must reach it, whatever the costs. So it's true. I didn't know you were such an evil man. Wow, that's that's sudden, but yeah, it's kind of true at the same time. Relax, Luna. There are plenty of pets in the world. Who cares if I use some of them? They are living creatures, just like you and me. Can't you understand that? We are smarter than all of them. I don't see the problems with us with using them. Well, unless you're eating them, I don't think we can really know that. You've changed since you started mining here. And it's not just your skin. Your mind is completely cracked. That's quite enough, Luna. Did you find the runaway pet? Yes, I did. Great. Where is he? I won't let you harm innocent creatures. You're not getting it back. Oh, sorry, sorry. But... But he's my pet. You have no right to keep him from me. I don't care. I will protect him from you. Is that so? Oh, sorry. Is that so? Then I unleash all of my monsters into the world. They will wreak havoc and mayhem until I get my pet back. Rumbling, rumbling, rumbling. Uh-oh. I better pull all this to the ancient spirit. He should wait for me in Luna's bedroom. Oh my. Mm, this game's gonna get steamy. I don't know. I, I think she's out. I... Oh, the, oh, that's that's perfect. That's that's. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Oh my God! Oh, that's horrifying! Oh! <laughs> oh, I love this camera so fucking much! Oh my God! I love this camera so much. It is the best thing ever. Okay. So we'll go talk to the ancient spirit and then I'll show you the thing that I was on about. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's the there's those orbs, those are the battles. 
but I don't have a pet, I don't have the blue pet yet, which is the pet I need to battle with, so kinda can't I can't do shit about it right now. Anyway. I love how everything's still jolly, even though fucking wild evil monsters have been unleashed. Oh my goodness. I'm just glad the loading times aren't frequent because these take these two take a little bit. Okay, game. Game, you're loading one room. Fucking hell. Crazy Frog Racer didn't take that long. Then again, it was loading everything from one map, so maybe I shouldn't be be saying that. Anyway, let's go talk to the spirit. You've learned much about this world, young spirit. I had no idea that Luna's uncle was so wicked. He was so friendly when I first met him. Something in the mind must be scrambling his brains. Some kind of terrible power. If he continues with his experiments, he may lose his mind completely. And you want me to stop him? Indeed. That's why I'm sending you back to Dazzleon. You need to learn more about these experiments and drive Matt out of the mine for good. I won't let you down. First, Luna should get the blue pet from Bobo. Then she can use it to negotiate with Matt. Oh, hold on. Okay, before I actually before I get to that, I should probably show you the, one of the main mechanics of the game. So you need to get people to trust you. I already know this is going to tick a lot of people off. The way you get people to trust you. How you dress. I'm not even kidding. Well, look, we're going to get into it. Okay, let's just skip that. Let's get straight to... Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, each character has an opinion about different outfits. Yeah, how you dress. That's, that's how they... Oh my god. <laughs> All right. I there's only I only know about two different outfits. I don't think there's any more than that. But then again, I haven't played much, you know, that enough to actually do that. But you see the meters. That's how much a person trusts you and Say for example, fuck. Hold on. Say this outfit makes Bobo trust me more. It makes, say, Halo trust me less. Anyway, let's put it on. Perfect. I think there's like a... Yeah, hold on. Yeah, there's a way like I can muck with the colors and it makes Bobo trust me slightly more. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Hold on. And... Uh, we look fabulous. We look absolutely... We're just glorious. We are... <sighs> fucking... The colour of fucking wheels not... Mm. Fuck it there. Uh. Oh! You like those better, Bobo? Okay. I don't understand why I have to dress to impress a six-year-old boy. That's a little creepy. Anyway. Hey, the game finished loading. Actually, the green and orange doesn't look that bad. I've seen a lot worse. I've seen myself do a lot worse with the with that before. One second, can I? Oh, I wanted to see if it would. What other things can this clip through? Hold on. Can it clip through this? Of course. I love this fucking camera so much. <laughs> okay, that looks fine. That actually does. That's fine. That looks fine. Um. I love clipping this camera through shit. It's the absolute best. 
fun I think I can uh, I never I never had with a game. Oh, man. I think I think I remember checking the website once, and I think those people are actually still making you know I think they're still well I don't know if they're still making it, but I think they still advertise falling stars. Which is odd because like this game when this game come out? This game What? What the fuck? This game came out 2007. Jesus Christ. I was expecting like 2004. 2003. Not 2007. Fucking hell. That's incredible. Oh my goodness. Let's go get the blue pet and then I'll show you the oversight. There's so much stuff getting in the way. Ah, oh, man. Bobo. Bobo, you are right about Matt's experiments. I'll try my best to stop him, but I will need the blue pet. Okay, I'll give him to you if you make me a promise. No need to. You must not return him to Matt. Fuck you, kid. I mean, I promised you that I won't let anything bad happen to him. His name is Comey. Please take good care of him. Thank you so much. There's Comey. And now he'll be there forever. Let's just... Let's go talk to Matt now. Because we have to, and also because it leads to the oversight. Ugh. It's such a small thing, and yet I've been waiting for forever to show it. I have never been more excited to show something like this in my life. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to know, can I make the camera click through Matt when I talk to him? That would be the fucking best. Please let me do that. Oh. Okay. Okay. Hold on. No, I can do this. Let me just... Let me just find the perfect... Fuck! Never mind. The camera changed anyway. What's that on your back? That's my blue pet! Give him back to me, please. His name is Comey. I promise to protect him, and I will keep my word. But I won't harm him, my experience will only make him stronger. Of course, it may change his looks, but who cares about that? There must be some other way. My experiments are the best method. You can't argue with the results. I won't believe that. I'll train Comey myself and make him stronger than all of your monsters. Ha ha ha. What, you're not joking? You have no chance of succeeding at all. It's hopeless. You believe that? Then why don't we have a fair duel? Your monster against my Comey. If I win, you must tell me everything about your experiments, and leave the mine forever. Hmm, I like the idea of a duel, but even if my monster loses, however unlikely that is, then I will only describe the experiments. I can't afford to leave when I'm so close to reaching my goal. Well, okay, deal. But if you lose, Comey is mine! What? I, I don't have any other choice, do I? None at all. Fine, I'm sure we'll win anyway, somehow. I can't wait to see you fail. Ha! I'll return for the duel once I've finished training Comey. Alright. Please let the oversight still work, because that would... Because it's the funniest thing to me. Okay, let's go to Matt. Ow! Jesus! What is happening? Yes! Okay. My pickaxe is completely worn out. Luna, my dear, could you buy me a new one? I should sell them for up to a thousand moons. Sure, I'll buy a new one for you. Thanks, it should make my job much easier. <laughs> oh, you know that, that, that quest with the pickaxe? You're meant to take that before Matt turns evil. To help him with his job. But he's evil. And we already know it, and yet we're still getting the pickaxe to help him. 
Lads Falling Stars, everybody! Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this bad game Friday. If you did... No, wait. No. I was gonna end it there, but I didn't even show you the battling. How could I be so forgetful? Let's just get into a battle. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that would have been the perfect way to end it, but we gotta show you the <laughs> I gotta show you guys the meat of the game. There's an orb, let's just run into it. Oh <laughs> I was just so content on leaving it right there. Okay. So the way this game this battling works is basically guesswork. You pick an attack. Or you pick, well, you pick, the one person picks an attack, the other person picks an events. If they're the same, then obviously no damage is dealt. If it's different, then damage is dealt. You'll generally want to go with the higher attacks because they deal with more, deal more damage. But obviously if they're blocked, then the diddly squat. You'll, you'll see, I'll show you in a second. There's a blue pet. Or an enemy, anyway. Okay, let's start the fight. So now we just got to stand and wait while... Okay, so we only have two attacks so far. Weak and slightly less. Worse the weak, light and medium attacks. Let's go with light. Then he picks a defense. And he picked the right defense. So we basically fucked up there and didn't do any damage. And I picked the right defense and he didn't do any damage to me. So, yeah. Anyway, let's pick the, let's pick the medium attack now. That dealt 12 damage. He's gonna gain back energy faster than me because I used more energy to get use that red attack. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, there's a red attack that I didn't defend. Yeah, you see, it's mostly guesswork here. Also, I should point out every battle plays the exact same. As, long, as soon as you know the pattern, it's all it, it, it all goes the same way. Let's try the white attack, because that's the most powerful attack. Which depends on all the orbs you have. Yeah, see? See? That just absolutely mauled him. Oh, I know what's going to happen. Yep. Now... With the, with the stronger attacks, you can't negate all the damage, but you can at least try to protect yourself. Anyway, Luna only has one power at the minute, which just allows me to regain some health. Let's go for a quick attack. There we go. And basically, that's not so fine on its own, but trust me, you do a lot of those and it gets fucking boring. Really fucking boring. It's okay, but there you have it. <laughs> That's falling stars. So I hope you guys enjoyed this bad game Friday. <laughs> if you did, remember to like, fave, and subscribe. I upload videos every single day, and I'll see you guys next week with another bad game Friday. Who knows what I'll play? <laughs>